This is the body of Christ. The family that prays together stays together. My name is Isaiah Collins. I'm a seminarian of the Congregation of Holy Cross. I'm currently studying philosophy in the Andrew House of Formation. Today, I'm here to give you a reflection on the theme of our day, which is the solemnity of the body and blood of Christ, Corpus Christi. Uh, the first reading today comes from the book of Genesis, chapter 14, verse 18 to 20. The second reading comes from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 23 to 26. And the gospel comes from the gospel of St. Luke, chapter 9, verse 11 to 17. In the first reading, we get to hear the thanksgiving that Melchizedek gives after Abram gives his offerings of, body, of bread and wine. And this is a very instrumental thing because we don't, we don't only get to know that uh, the issue of bread and wine started at the time of Jesus, but it went way back at the time of Abraham. And it's very instrumental in our faith to know that all things in the Old Testament and in the New Testament, they are interrelated. And in the second reading, we get to hear about uh, St. Paul talking about what he has received, handing down what he has received. And this is none other than the lifting of the bread, the instituting of the Eucharist that Christ did, as when, when he was saying that this is my body, which will be given up for you. Do this in memory of me. And Jesus Christ also did the same thing uh, when he, uh, he, he touched in the wine. And in the Gospel, we get to see the situation whereby the people who had followed Jesus uh, when they were there and the evening was coming and they had nowhere to sleep and they had nothing to eat. The disciples suggested to Jesus that those people should be sent away to look for places to sleep. But Christ said, let them stay. There are provisions. And that's where Christ did the miracle of multiplying the bread and fish. And this is very like connecting in a way to our spirituality and on this day of the most holy body and blood of Christ, because we get to see that Christ is our refuge. As St. Thomas Aquinas said, Jesus is the pelican whom we eat his bread when we, when we hunger. And he said this in the Adorote Devote, the prayer he was saying to him. In that song, Nina Kuabudu Mungu Wangu, we say that Jesus pelican feed me with your blood and, and flesh. And the, as the, the way the pelican feeds her children with their own blood and flesh. That is the same way Christ feeds us, with his own blood and flesh. And, and in this feast of the most holy body and blood of Christ, we, we are called to seek refuge in Christ. Because t by taking of the blood and the body of Christ in the sacraments that we receive, we get spiritual strength. We get the spiritual nourishment to move us forward day by day. And without this sacrament, which is the most important sacrament and the greatest sacrament of all, the body and blood of Christ, because it is God himself presenting himself to us. And it is very important in a way that, in the sense that we do not, what we eat does not become us, but we become what we eat. We become Christ. We become Christ-like when we eat, uh, when we eat the, his flesh and drink his blood, because it nourishes us. It makes us holier. And this is what God does for us, to sanctify us, to save us, and to make us more better, and to make us better versions of ourselves. A world at prayer is a world at peace. Thank you.